Good afternoon everybody, good evening. It's great to see the summer exhibition hung again. And I think you'll have to agree, it's been beautifully hung by Brian Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian put a lot of work into it and I think it looks great. And yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think he has displayed your art to its best. And a big thank you to Brian. Um, we're delighted this evening that we have Ian Fox uh, to open this exhibition. Ian has been a great supporter of the club over the last number of years, as is Jim Harkin. So it was great that Ian decided that he would open the exhibition for us this evening. Now, I know a lot about Ian, but I think, uh, I'm sure most of you do as well. But I'm just going to just give a small introduction to Ian. Uh, and as you know, in the last couple of months, Ian has done at least three lectures for us here in the club, and they're very, very well supported, and we're looking forward to him continuing in September uh, again. But just a little bit of a background, Ian is a museologist, and he has been a lecturer of, in music and regular OT broadcaster and music critic for over 50 years. Now, that's not aging him or anything. <laughs> yeah. He has written hundreds of um, he's written hundreds of program notes for a wide range of events, including the West, Cork, Kilkenny, and so on. But I suppose his radio program, Bloomfield, on the music in Joyce's Ulysses, it won the European Nordic Prize in 1982. Going back a little bit far, but it's important just to put Joyce's it into context. 100th anniversary of Joyce's birth. It yeah. was the 100th anniversary, yeah. as Ian says, of Joyce's birth. Mm -hmm. Um, he presented a, a twice yearly series of music lectures in the Royal Dublin Society, and I know a lot of you would have, would have attended those. He wrote the history of the Wexford Festival, 100 Nights at the Opera in 1991. He was a music critical for the Sunday Tribune for over 20 years, and he was the Irish correspondent for the opera magazine London, and is a member of the Critics Circle in London. So that's really a great accolade for Ian. He also drinks, uh, yeah, that's right. so, <laughs> so without any more ado, uh, we're delighted that Ian is a member of the club here, as is his partner, Jim Harkin. So I'm going to ask Ian to formally open this uh, Wexford, this festival for us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Exhibition, very well yeah, just, uh, just 800 years ago, the that newly emerging English language was already producing poems and songs the oldest text in the Oxford Book of Poetry dates from around 1226, that's 796 years ago. But it still carries the feeling of summer. And the opening verse is, Summer is a coming in. Loudy sing cuckoo, groweth seed, and bloweth mead, and springeth the wood new. Sing cuckoo. So that's the kind of mood I think we're in this evening. And maybe with over 800 years, we can still uh, recognize that. And the glories of nature and uh, humankind are still with us in our exhibition around our walls. We have a large jug of water, and the next time that thing rings, it's going into the jug of water. Right? <laughs> <laughs> we can take a virtual summer's day, travel around the 38 pictures, starting with early morning uh, from uh, Mark Joseph, a tiny landscape at the back of the bar there. Then we can have our egg for breakfast, which is very nice, courtesy of Alan Keane, and journey to the seaside. There's Milltown Mulvey and uh, Fesh, witnessed by Sean Tiernan. Uh, and we could hear, uh, head off to uh, Ord Cavan Beach with Susan Mackay, or Ord Forest Park in Donegal, thanks to Tony McCarthy. And we can travel further to the heat of southern Italy and Mount Etna, thanks to Carmel Mooney. And we can meet people like uh, Brian Gallagher's Man in a, ca uh, in a Cap and Mask, or the oriental allure of Michael Grant's Androla Dushi, though the lady's not for sale. Uh, we can cool off in Mary Trishler's watercolour woodland, or have a cuppa in the cafe at Checkpoint Village in Waterford, thanks to Linda Condon. And we will still be delighted to renew acquaintance with some very famous names who have come back to join us again this year. David Goldberg, James English and Carmel Mooney are all welcome returnees and re ready to delight us. So we have a very good selection to go around. The prices are very competitive and with the way things are soaring these days, now's the time to buy. <laughs> it all goes mad. So as I, as I said at the start, summer is coming in. Loudy sing cuckoo. Groweth seed and bloweth mead and springeth the wood new. Sing cuckoo. Yes, it's summertime at the Arsenal. Oh. Oh.